doctor shortage, man. What's the matter with you? <laughs> uh, now that we have uh, Coach London and uh, Chase Minifield present, uh, I'm going to turn this over to John Butler, the Executive Director of Pop Warner Football, who has a special announcement for us today. Hi, I'm down at the ESPN Wild World of Sports Complex in Florida for our 55th annual Pop Warner Super Bowl. Um, we initiated last year a Pop Warner National College Football Award to recognize a Pop Warner alumnus who has made a difference on the field, in the classroom, and in his community. This award honors a player who has continued to demonstrate Pop Warner's fundamental values, sportsmanship, academics, and community service at the next level, and who serves as a role model for our young scholar athletes. This year we fielded a number of nominations from schools all across the country, received a tremendous number of stories of really accomplished young men, and we believe we have an exceptional 2011 recipient in Chase Minifield. We read a nomination for extremely impressive academics, his commitment to community service, and his accomplishments on the field. Chase, I would like to officially inform you that you are Pop Warner's 2011 National College Football Award honoree, and I'd be honored to present the award to you here at the Pop Warner Super Bowl during our semifinals this Wednesday. Thank you. I have to tell you, as a personal note, organizationally, it gives me great pride and great pleasure to give this award to you. And personally, as a UVA alumnus, it, uh, it means a great deal to me, too. And I did not have a vote in this process. <laughs> uh, Chase, would you like to make some comments about uh, uh, being informed you're the Pop Warner Player of the Year? Well, being at... Um, it's kind of awesome because Pop Warner, that's a, that's a big part of my upbringing um, coming up. Uh, you know, I've been playing the game, flag football since I was four, um, tackle since I was seven. So, you know, I, I really truly believe you learn a lot growing up with your coaches and just being around your players. Some of the players I played when I was, when I was seven, I, they're my best friends today. So, you know, this is a, it's a great honor and I really appreciate it. Coach Lenny, would you like to make a comment about Chase? <clears throat> um, I'm really happy for Chase. Uh, in fact, um, you know, the things that, that, Joe, that you talked about, and, you know, Chase, no secret, he graduated early. Um, no secret that he's one of the top uh, top guys in our team that have uh, been involved in the community service aspect of it. He's very competitive, um, you know, all ACC, you know, first team performer. So this is a, another award I'm quite sure that's very near and dear to him because it talks about youth and the upbringing and, and his first exposure to, uh, to, to sports. So, um you guys are doing tremendous things down there, and I know he's looking forward to getting down there Wednesday so he can miss practice and uh, you know get on the uh, I don't know what ride you have down there, but uh, he's, uh, he's I know he's excited and very very humble uh, to 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 receive this award. So thank you very much. Um, at this time, we've been lucky enough to track down Chase's Pop Warner coach, uh, Coach Frank. Can you give us some um, some of your fondest memories of of uh, uh, coaching young Chase uh, when he was. Uh, Plan for you in Pop Warner football? Well, uh, Chase, uh, I guess my first memory is uh, when Chase wanted to play uh, football. Uh, being an ex NFL player, uh, I, I know the, 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 the impacts that you're going to take throughout your career, so I was trying to keep Chase away from top of football as long as I could. And my plan was to, to start him playing uh, tackle football around 11 years old. But uh, he played uh, he played as a seven year old in a flag football league, and and we we said well we're gonna play flag football uh, for the next three years. And uh, and after that first year, uh, I remember him and his two cousins walking into my bedroom. With all these, with these mean faces, saying we want to play top of football, and uh, when uh, when he did that, uh, I knew he was going to be committed to football, playing football forever. Uh, 